Damn Court. Welcome. Howdy. <laughs> um, so it's just the two of us today. Hey, hey. Um, but we're freaking amazing, so two is all you need. I mean, like, two <laughs> peas in a pod. That might be three it, peas in a pod. No. Oops, did uh, I say the wrong? Either way, it works. I know it takes three to tango. But... It takes two to tango, you dummy. It's oh. a dance. <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassing. I'm no, just kidding. there's a movie called I know, It Takes Three but to Tango, that's and like that's a, where that came from, it's so let's joke. not call me dumb. <laughs> so hateful. Um... Oh my goodness. But what are some other, t- it's like, it, there's two people in most every relationship. I know sometimes there's not, but we're not going there today. Um. Speaking, well, wait, I'm sorry. Can we just stroll back there? Yeah. Just take a stroll, backwards walk. You said the word relationship. You brought it up. Oh, How's shit. the relationship scene? <laughs> Brittany's. Um, I'm still super single. Super or kind I of? I mean, ki- I mean. You're single. I'm single for sure. But? But, I mean, I'm like The podcast got her a man. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, podcast, help me out. No, I mean, I'm like casually talking to someone, but we'll see how that goes. She put a time limit um, on him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't listen to this. <laughs> No, I hope or he does. I hope he does so he realizes there's a time limit. But Hey, there's a time limit. Um, you know who you are. I just <laughs> I just feel like you've got to if you if you got to focus your efforts and uh Pursue. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be just hanging out forever. You know? Well, but, uh, that's what I'm on doing. The upside, I'm hanging out forever. I haven't um, talked to my ex in like a while, so that's nice. Her I don't even know ex. if you can really call him. No, an ex, you but... can. Can we just talk about the fact that your ex served on jury duty though? And oh, like, my gosh. listen, true crime is my business. So like the fact that he served on jury duty, I'm like, oh my god, I wish I could talk to him. But I feel like I have an alliance to you, Brittany. I, I appreciate like, it. I, well, obviously my alliance is to you. <laughs> but like, I'm like, I also was oh. just really thought he was a great guy for a while, though, guys. Uh, I was drunk, and it was. You thought you talked oh. about it for like two days. Uh, okay, fine. He you convinced were like, he's me he's gonna do great, and I was like, no, I know. He I'm convinced me to, for forty-eight hours that he was going to make better choices, and then he didn't. So, boo. So it's fine, you know. Things work out. They don't. He thinks we're going to get married in three years. He has a timeline. I don't. I, you know. Brittany's talking to other men. Uh, he's got to be talking to other women, too. Whatever. That's why he hasn't talked to me in a while. Committed. So, yeah. That's fine. That's what whatever. I think. You're not committing. You're talking to someone. Or you're at least interested in somebody else. Yeah. Well, and I mean, like, he might be interested in me, but he's not willing to commit to me. So, what ifs? Fuck you. Buddy. I say it super casually, and honestly, it's been going on long enough at this point. It is casual to me. I'm just like, whatever, I'm over it. Casual I did a peace sign, and you guys didn't see it. Without but. the casual benefits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys couldn't see it, but I winked at Brittany. <laughs> yeah, there's no benefits involved. <laughs> um, um, which maybe that's why, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> well, Allison, what's your relationship status? <laughs> That was April. <laughs> um, my relation. What? Sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm I would. Rude. Cra- I would categorize Allison's relationship status for the last, like, I don't know, almost three years as it's complicated. I have a baby, so everything's complicated. Getting up in the morning is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Freaking. Allison could be married, and it would still be the status of it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly right. Uh, I have chosen not to, uh, you know what, here's what we'll say. <laughs> I'm satisfied with, <laughs> with what I've got, so it's fine. Um, and that's where we'll leave that. It's okay. But, um, I would like to say that it's hard. What? You I thought of something to ask you, but finish. 
uh, I wasn't really going anywhere. So I appreciated the interruption. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm okay. Whatever. Um, <laughs> can we talk about work for a second with you? Oh, sure. Can we talk about how work's going? Any, like, craziness? Well, y'all know that I'm a teacher, so there is no ending of crazy, whether it be students or parents. You know who you are if you're a parent. Um, that was me. Sorry. That's fine. That was my, like, I'm disgusted. I can't, though, because if I do that, then yeah. fired, fired, fired. <laughs> fired, 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 fired. Wish I could fade out. I wish we were that technologically advanced Oh, but here. we're so not. <laughs> so we'll just do it with our, voice, with our voices. With our own voices. Fire, 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 fire. 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 <laughs> no. Um... I had a meeting <laughs> every day this week, except Ew. for today. Because um, it's Friday, people. Bitches, go home. Where no, I you? did have a parent that wanted me to call her today, but my principal did say that he already handled it, so I didn't call. Rock and roll. Um, the long and short of it is, is I'm a new teacher, um, what some parents would like to call green, and... But she's not green. She's been doing it for a while, peeps. She's just not 40. And... If you looked older, it would help. Uh, so tweed. young. So young and pretty. <laughs> um, I... I do things different, and people don't like different. Oh, but I will say that I love my kids. I <laughs> obviously love my own kid more than life itself but it's so funny because when you're I've never not been a teacher and a mom like I graduated college pregnant (laughs) so I never got to start my career as just a career woman like I was already a mom which there's nothing wrong with and you know I have gotten to the point where I love my students, and I love my child. It's like I have 22 kids. One of them I actually gave birth to. I would I, – I, that's what makes my job worth it. So, you know, my job sucks sometimes, but honestly, it's worth it. I get that. I'm, I'm with you. But speaking of worth it and worth my time, yeah, what was the book? book. <laughs> okay, so this week, if you're on our Twitter... Hashtag I, Books Uncorked. Yeah, it's actually at Books Uncorked. Right, but you our can handle, hashtag yes, Books Uncorked. You should hashtag it. For sure. Um, so it was called... It is called, because it's still there. It's not Six dead. Six <laughs> Years Har- by Harlan Coben. Um, the synopsis is hella long, like, holy shit, honestly, like, if I had read the synopsis before I read the book, I'm, I, honestly, I'm not sure I would have read, I just can't imagine that I read this full synopsis, and I was like, yeah, I'm still gonna read this book. What? Because it's so freaking long. It really is long, but we read half of the synopsis in the aisle at Target. And we had to have. But I didn't no, realize... we for sure did because it was by a man. I know, but it's so long. Okay, so here's the synopsis. Six years have passed since Jake Fisher watched Natalie, the love of his life, marry another man. Six years after hi- oh, of six years of hiding a broken heart by throwing himself into his career as a college professor. Six years of keeping his promise to Natalie alone. To leave Natalie alone. Man, I'm struggling. That's fine. And six years of tortured dreams of her life with her new husband, Todd. 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 <laughs> but six years haven't, haven't come close to extinguishing his feelings. And when Jake comes across Todd's obituary, he can't keep himself away from the funeral. <laughs> there he gets a glimpse of Todd's wife he's hoping for. But she's not Natalie. Whoever the morning widow is, she's been married to Todd for almost two decades. And with that fact, everything Todd, oh, sorry, everything Jake thought he knew about the best time of his life, a time he has never gotten over, is turned completely inside out. As Jake searches for the truth, his picture-perfect memories of Natalie begin to unravel. Mutual friends of the couple either can't be found or don't remember Jake. No one has seen Natalie 
in years. Jake searched for the woman who broke his heart, who lied to him. That's a weird way to format a sentence. Should put his very <laughs> life at risk as it dawns <laughs> on him that the man he has become may be based on a carefully constructed fiction. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into that a little bit because this, so it was my turn to pick a book and this is the book I chose um, in the Target aisles. Um, Gosh, I guess. Yeah. I, we we actually all bought it on Audible though. <laughs> um, so that was nice. Um, but I but, also bought it on paperback because I would like to have a collection of all the books that we've oh, ever that's read. That's a great idea. I think I'll do that too. It's actually a pretty cheap book too. I think it was like seven dollars, right? You can buy it. Yeah, it was. It was, but it was like seven bucks, right? Do you remember? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think it was like seven. That's why I said you can buy it to our <laughs> listeners. Like you can do it. I think it was like save seven. for it. Yeah. Um, but you know this book just what. This it book just what? got me. But before we say anything else, I think we need to throw out there. Say it with me, Allison. When or if you finish the book. Oh, thank you. Because I was skipping right over that shit. Um, well, okay. let me ask you, Brittany, because you didn't finish her last book. First question. Have you finished the last book, The Dirty Book Club by Lisey Harrison? Oh, shit. The answer to that, ladies it. and gentlemen, is no. I forgot about it. I have not. I'll keep you updated. It's so good. Y'all read it. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, did you at least finish the book that you picked? Hell yeah. I finished the book. I'm going to be <sighs> honest, though. I finished it today. Wow. Okay. So I'm a fast reader normally. <laughs> so. Except for when she has a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> so I read this book and I was like. Um, or I, I was going to read this book, like I was going to start this book and I was like, okay, well, let's just, let's just think about it. And I was like, I really don't need more than a day and a half. Oh and my I didn't want to read it in too far in advance. So my plan was to start on Wednesday. Uh huh. No, my plan was to start on Tuesday. So that would give me like, I don't know, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday. Oh wow. I forgot my days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days. Um, and today was my day off, so, like, I wasn't going to have to read, or I wasn't going to have to go to work, and I had, I drove for, like, two hours today, um, but then I forgot to buy it on Thursday, or until Thursday. You didn't buy the book until Thursday? I didn't buy the book until Thursday. Um, so then I listened to it for a few hours yesterday. I don't know, more than a few hours. I listened to it, like, all yesterday evening. Um, while I worked on a puzzle, it was great. I'm 54. That's not really old. I should have said 84. Um, My grandma's 84. What are you trying to say? Obviously, your grandma's old. Well, she's dead. Well, then she's not 84. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Okay. You can either be 84 or you can be dead, but you cannot be both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I have a little bit of a snubble cough, everyone. Oh, a little bit. Allison's dying and won't admit it. I'm like, a teacher oof. and I'm not trying to write those supplements. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much harder not to be at work than okay. it is to go. But Allison, yeah, did you finish the book? Wait, can I precursor this? Sure. So when Alice, I, Allison was with me when I picked the book, but she wasn't like, we made an agreement that this was my book to pick, so she had no input. That's. Just... But I was like, I think this is the book I'm going to pick. Here, read it. Read the back. And she was like, I'm not reading this book. And I was like, excuse me. <laughs> To be fair, Allison, Allison was in a rough mood at that moment. And I think I might have been in a little bit of a rough mood. But yeah, your leg we're hurt. We're great friends. What? <laughs> your leg hurt. Oh, yeah, my leg hurt real bad, guys. I got a fucked up leg. Um, tell you about it another time. Uh, oh, I think we talked about it in the last podcast. I don't remember. Um, they can't hear it anyway because the audio is terrible. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is shit. Um, but. Allison was like, I'm not reading this. And I was like, what do you mean you're not reading it? She's like, you can pick it, but I'm going to tell you now I'm not going to read it. And I was like, 
bitch, you don't get to just decide not to read it. Like, it's one thing to, like, run out of time or to just, like, I don't know, really not like the book after you start it. But you have to at least fucking start the book. She's like, I'm not doing it. Allison, did you do it? Yeah, I read the book. The whole thing? All of it. I I love you. You're just one of my best friends. Ask me when I finish it. When did you finish the book, Allison? I finished it like two days ago. (laughs) For you, that's almost disappointing. Why? I expected you to finish it earlier. Uh, well, my favorite podcast finished Mm -hmm. or posted their podcast, so it was like I had to decide between... (laughs) <laughs> listening to the book or listening to my favorite podcast and is it called my favorite podcast or is it my favorite murder because now i'm confused oh i don't know why it didn't i my favorite podcast is my favorite murder okay i got confused <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh shit <laughs> we're really good friends how do it's I not really know confusing the to this what is going on so um, so what their episodes an hour long oh my favorite murder yeah it's like an hour and 24 minutes. It's like an hour and 24 minutes, point forty eight seconds. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, that was, there was no like there. <laughs> Whatever. It's she fine. She knows exactly how fucking long that is. Because <laughs> she listens to it I non-fucking listen, stop. I listen to Guys, everything that's posted. there's something on my cover. I've got to scratch it off. I've listened to everything that's it. posted twice. <laughs> she just blew on the microphone. Sorry. There was something on the plastic part, and I just had to get it off. Brenny just wanted to blow in your ear. <laughs> Isn't that sexy? Is that why I'm single? <laughs> That's why all the men are lined up at your door. <laughs> what a bitch. She's such a bitch. Uh-uh. Okay, so, Brittany, we both finished the book this week. You still haven't finished last week's book. If you That's haven't nice. caught on, listeners, this is a podcast that we record to review books that we read. While drinking wine. Yeah, hence the uncorked part. So um, there's clearly a major spoiler alert. But we're going to throw it in just in case you didn't realize that we were going to spoil things. This is a book that you don't want to be spoiled if you haven't read it. I don't agree. Okay, Brittany doesn't agree. Here's why. Because... There are so many twists and turns in this book. I uh, So, I, it doesn't matter if you know the ending. You're like, how the fuck did we get here? How are we in this cabin in the woods? Whose fucking cabin is this? Also, you guys, the book ends in a cabin. And I didn't spoil anything. What the? F- I read the whole book and I was still like, still like what? New Mexico? New Mexico? That's where they ended up, Brittany. Did you finish the book? I did. Oh, no, he didn't. He ended up. At the university? Yep. Oh. I thought it was California. Mm-mm. To be fair, I did fall asleep at one point. Um, Brittany like, didn't actually finish asleep. No, I fell actually asleep and I had to rewind. Mm. But I don't think that's where I fell asleep. Well, I think I fell asleep at a different At part. the end of the book, I was like, oh, this is it. Now it's over. What? Yeah, like, what the fuck? Um, okay, but... That being said, this is your spoiler alert. I think you'll be fine if you listen to it and then read the book because there's so much shit that goes down. You're not, well, you are not going to understand this book. Uh, People, so many details. Clearly, if you're going to listen to it, if you've listened this far in you're here. and you're considering stopping it, don't hit stop. Listen on. Maybe Listener. you won't even ha- Maybe this is the cliff notes for you. Yeah, maybe you're not going to read the book at all, and you're just counting on us to tell you yeah, what happens. I'm sure most of you have finished high school. Did I, You know, something I learned about Allison, she didn't even fucking read Fahrenheit 451. <laughs> I just, I'm going to pick that as my next book just to make her fucking read it. Satan. I hate that. I did not finish one. I didn't read one <laughs> book from high school. I was in AP English. I was too, but so and this is... never finished one of those books and got an A on all of my book reports. This is for all the Allisons out there. We are your cliff notes. We love you. I love I you love more. I love you, but I'm disappointed in you for not reading the fucking book. Brittany's judging you. 
I I'm adore not you. Judging. She uses I that adore so you. much. I think you're great. I've got to put down the pen I'm playing with because I'm going to make noises. Quit it. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. So, spoiler sober. Let's get into Allison's favorite topic of the book, which is Repa fucking Titian. Man, I'm just dropping the F bomb left and right tonight. Sorry. Guys. That's fine. You know what I wish? That our main character, Jake, could get his fucking words out. That boy is like. Oh my God. Here's, here's I wish ex- I could read a passage. Here. Or do you have one? I don't. But I'm going to make one up on the fly. Okay. It, it is from the book. Um, What is it called? Synopsis. It's Excerpt? like the abridged version. Excerpt? Is it just like a part taken out of the book? Yeah, but it's not going to be word for word. It's going to be oh, my that's version. that's abridged. Yeah, abridged. So it's like, and then I saw it. The thing that made me, f- my heart stop. A cold hand reached into my chest and grasped my heart, making me feel like the blah, blah, blah man in the world. Blah, 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 blah. And on the other end, I'm here, and I'm like, what What the fuck did you see? What is it? What is on his Facebook page? Just fucking say it, Oh, my gosh, that's an example from the book. Good job. Thank you. It is an example from the book. But also, he did it like three times. and at Oh, I think three is way underestimating the amount of times he did that. Okay, three times that I was like, I'm going to freaking jump out of the audiobook and hit four and 30 seconds to figure out what is going on. But at one point, it was 7.45. I have to be at work in the building at 8, right? Mm-hmm. I like to be there early so I can do things for my students before they walk in. And I was like, I need to know what you saw, asshole. So if you could just say it. You can tell me. So I can walk into my job and not have to wonder about you all day long. (laughs) Because I'm not going to be able to listen to you all day long. So I won't know the answer to this undying, heart-stopping, riveting thing that you happen to see on Facebook until 3.30. It's like, you know, when when a normal person would be like, oh, that green grass, it's so beautiful. So like someone could say, the beautiful, luscious green grass. He would be like... The beautiful, luscious, luminous, tall, yet short, and the perfect length of this beautiful earth grown, like just sent from the earth, the soil grown grass. Like, no fucker, it's just. Okay, can I just say really quickly that that last line (laughs) is on spot in the word. The soil grown grass. <laughs> <laughs> it was sometimes, sometimes he just threw in shit that didn't need to be I'm there. Like, please. Like, I don't, like, obviously, I fucking know that the grass was grown from soil. <laughs> Who the fuck also, grows grass not from soil? I'm also, sure there's some, like, heart stopping <sighs> and, like, earth shattering means the same thing. Mm-hmm. We get it. It's dramatic. I will say, I did appreciate, in some parts of the book, it built the anticipation. But I think he Not when you have a life to get back to. (laughs) Well, Allison, it's called a book. You're supposed to read it. You're supposed to, like, envelop yourself in it. I did like it sometimes. I think he overused it a little bit. I really do. I don't know if this author is, like, I don't know if this is his first hit. I don't know if this is, like, you know, whatever. But he could have done better. Um, but we're a little obsessed with repetition. <laughs> I told you I had a lot to say about it. <laughs> um, so, in this book, there's some obsessed people in it. I would say. I would say there's there's a, at least a couple. Obsessed, to say the least. Because our friend Jake, the main character... I would say is a little bit of a stalker. Um, our girl Natalie straight up tells him that she doesn't want him to find her. 
Oh, excuse me. My bad. Yeah, he, she literally... I wish I could remember. I promise I, me you won't look for us. Is that what she says? Yes. Promise me you won't look for us. I know that's what he, she says because he says it at least 600 times. Yeah, repetition. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, that was okay. dramatic. That's okay. Um, what are you doing on your computer? Well, we had talked about... I'm just sorry. I just no. They can probably hear my clicking. Um, Brittany said, "I don't know if this is first hit or what, <laughs> but I feel like we should give mm. our boy Harlan a shout out." Yeah, I Harlan's, honestly I loved this book. It really just for the record, we're giving a lot of shit in the repetition area, but I loved it. It can be entertained. Harlan Coben has a new novel called Runaway. Um, you can get it March nineteenth, twenty nineteen. Oh, shit. That's so far away. Um, I'll try and set a reminder to remind you guys. Six years is or was written six years ago. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I it was released March 19th of a year that isn't listed. It just tells me March 19th, so I'm sorry. But he has lots and lots of books and lots and lots of reviews Um, Are they shitty or good? Publishers Weekly says, um, oh, I'm sorry, no. Booklist says mind-boggling, riveting reading. Uh, Freshfiction.com says six years is a mind-blowing, brain-twisting, knuckle-biter where nothing is as it seems. Coben never fails to deliver on his promise to keep readers riveted to their seats until the final page. So maybe he keeps his readers obsessed? Uh, unhealthily. <laughs> anyway. So something I wanted to get to. Like Jake. Like what? I Jake is unhealthily Jake. obsessed. Okay. I, I would agree. So is there a diff- Is there a healthy versus unhealthy obsession I was trying to think about that like so what if I don't know like if you're obsessed with health I still think that could be a problem yeah like I think if you're obsessed with something like we're looking at an issue I think the word obsessed in itself Mm -hmm. has a negative connotation and I kind of feel like and you can shoot us an email at booksincourt3 gmail.com um, to let me know if you think I'm wrong, but or tweet us or at tweet us, court. yeah. But obsessed has a negative connotation. Mm-hmm. If you're obsessed with something, you're going overboard. You know, I would agree. I would. Sorry, I'm pouring me some champagne. Um. So, I would agree. I think you can be more invested in things. You know, like. Some people are really invested in exercise. Not me. But um, some people are really invested in, like, prioritizing their time with that. You know, like, I would even say to some extent, Allison, correct me if you feel like I'm wrong, um, that you can be, like, too obsessed with your kids or, you know what I mean? You have to, like, what is wrong? Did you feel put too much champagne in your mouth? Well, the glass started to overflow. Oh. <laughs> I put it all over now. I have tile for. Um, it's dripping <laughs> on me now. Well, it sucks to suck. Hope, oh, but she didn't suck well enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? Did she say? But she didn't suck it well enough. Yeah, because you got it all over yourself. I'm going. Oh my gosh. I was going to hold every. My people are gonna listen to this. Um, it's okay. What people? Who are you Who saying? Are we I don't talking have people? To? I have family. I have friends. You're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I think it's safe to say that we think that um, Jake was obsessed with Natalie in a pretty unhealthy way. He was obsessed. I think he was, He. Ha- I think he has an obsessive personality. Oh, it was, if it wasn't Natalie, it was his fucking professor. He was obsessed with his job. Benedict. He was obsessed with time. He was obsessed with friends. Yeah. He was ob- 
fucking obsessed. Yeah. So I want. Here's what I want to hear from, uh, okay. from our listener. Oh, oh, go ahead. But can I just say, when I say obsessed with time, I mean this man had a basketball clock timer in his room. Gave each of his students seven minutes. To no, talk. no, no, nine. Nine, nine. I'm sorry, nine minutes to talk to him. And when the timer was up, okay, bye. Like, and it wasn't like out of like I don't like you because he loves his students. It was literally like obsessively a, loves his students. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Uh. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's let's move on to our next topic. What is it? Which is unresolved situation. Well, there's a lot of them in this book. <laughs> So, yeah, for real. I mean, like, for example, Natalie's dad. (laughs) Fuck him. I mean, not really. But, like, why? He had a choice. He literally really didn't tell anyone. Oh, my shit. If someone cheats, just just let it, especially if they're the son of a gangster. Who is just let him cheat. Is that who Archie is? Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's the part I fell asleep at. Okay. Well, he was like the son of a gangster trying to go straight. But. Oh, the one that they said got murdered. Right. Yes. Fudge. The son of a I gangster. So okay. So. That really wrapped it up for me. Um, with this a pretty bow. Wrapped it up with a pretty bow. That's what I'm here for. Merry Christmas, bitch. Um, so... Flipping the shit out of my hair. She is. It's so aggressive. Uh, Man, my language. I've had too much wine. I haven't had enough. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've had plenty. Uh, also, shout out to our waitress at Chili's. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to write down your name, and neither of us have a good memory, but hopefully you're listening. You were a kick-ass waitress. If I was into girls, I'd be into you, but I really like boys, so... I'm sorry. But, I mean, this just goes to show, off topic. Yeah, we got off topic. Uh, but we're talking about... Um, Unresolved situations and how you deal with them. <sighs> but Jake, like... Doesn't deal with couldn't them. Couldn't handle it being unresolved. He was and like... it's just like, yes, sometimes I like to wrap things up with a pretty bow. Don't get me wrong. But, like, some things are just unresolved. And it's like, like it is life. what it is. <laughs> well, your life shouldn't be resolved until you're dead. So I'm glad your life isn't resolved. Like my grandma. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus, my savior. Um. But you know, like shit. If we tried to resolve everything in our lives, we would never get jack done. Like, no, and that's or the do thing. Jack. Is like, get it? I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> Oh my god! I wish y'all could see her face when she said that. I'm really that. proud of myself when I make cheesy, or like I, I'm just proud what of dad jokes? Is that what you're proud yes. of yourself for? Okay, I don't make good Someone ones that often. Someone get this woman a kid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just impregnate me and leave. impregnate her. <laughs> okay, what just else? kidding. She wants to get married. Um, and then I mean, I can still get married if I have a child. For the record, I'm just kidding. I know you know that because I'm married with a child, obviously. <laughs> Hello, that's my life. I'm still available to get married. Thank you, everyone. Um, I just Are think... you, though? I hope so. <laughs> You're available to the one person. I said I don't want to talk about relationship stuff. You're right. Okay, anyways... I was talking about unsettled or unresolved. <laughs> oh, um, Lord. But Help I feel us. like you just have to learn how to deal with unresolved things in life. Like me for the past three years. Unresolved. <laughs> <laughs> me and my ex for the last year. <laughs> unresolved. unresolved. Um, my parents being absolutely nuts. Oh, but they love you. That's resolved. <laughs> Oh, do they love me? I oh, don't know. whatever. Um, you have kick-ass parents. They just don't understand sometimes. That's true. Even I as adults, really your kids, do. even as adults, your parents don't get it. What song? That's an old rap song by Will Smith. 
Ever, someone look it Will up and tweet Smith it at me. And DJ Fresh. DJ the Fresh Prince. Is that what you're trying to say? Fresh Prince and DJ Jazzy. I don't. I'm confused. That's fine. Somebody will know what I'm talking about. Yeah, someone tweet us. us at Books Uncorked. Pretty and so let annoyed. us know. <laughs> I'm not annoyed. I'm annoyed with myself for not knowing the answer. Well, um, so essentially, Jake needs to just let things be unresolved and be happy with the fact that he has a good job, a best friend, and fucking hot bitches throwing themselves at him all the time. Yeah, for real. Pick one and get married. I don't understand what's so great about Natalie. I don't. Um, Shoot me. Not really, because Natalie will. Apparently, she has really good aim. (laughs) (laughs) But The retreat taught her. Yeah. You're going to have to read the book to figure that part out, bitches. Bitches. I'm just kidding. You're not bitches. (gasps) Ring-a-ding-ding. You know what that means. It's time for a break. And we're back. Hey, hey. (laughs) Um. So, that was a nice little break for us. You didn't go anywhere. (laughs) And we appreciate (laughs) you for that. We hope you didn't go anywhere. No, Unless stay. you paused us and took your break at the same time. And then which welcome point, back. I love that, you know. Pause with us. Take the break you need when we take the break we need. Um, sorry, I'm taking off my shoes. They're scratching all over the floor. Um, That was Brittany's. <laughs> <laughs> I am a 50s flappy girl voice. Flapper girl. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I took off my shoes and they're scratching all over the floor. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I mean, I noticed they went higher, but... It was definitely... I just get accents when I change my tone. I get an accent when I drink. And when she's excited. Very I get true. an accent too, but primarily... Oh, that's so funny. Last weekend, I hung out with some new friends. And <laughs> we were all... We had, I, I generally do not drink much, which is a funny fact about me. I generally like will have a drink or two, but I don't, I don't get tipsy even most of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, well, sometimes I do. I'm not saying I don't. I'm not against it. But um, last weekend I did. It was Halloween. It was great. And we had a DD, um, which is very important. Don't drink and drive, assholes. Don't. Um, but we, as I started, as we started drinking more, they noticed that my accent came out. And they were like, man, your accent. And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just it happens when I drink. <laughs> I don't know if this is, that was almost more Forrest Gump. I don't know. <laughs> I can't try to have an accent. It just comes out. Sometimes you'll hear it in certain words. If you're not from Oklahoma, then you'll hear you it. will. Yeah. I'm like halfway through a bottle of wine, and I had a margarita with dinner. So I had three margaritas at dinner. Bottoms up. And I'm still through a half bottle of wine. So that's where Allison is. <laughs> But, Brittany, yeah. we're friends. I like to think so. I'm just kidding. We <laughs> are. Um, and we've been friends for how long? We've been friends for almost five years. Should we cling to that? Clink. Not a break. Clink. Yeah, Allison's wine glass is a lot thicker than mine. And so it I like stemless. Nice. She likes stemmed, so I have both. A full set of stemmed and a full set of... Of stemless. To be fair, like to the say, stemless is white wine and the stem is red wine, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. But I would also like to say that at my house, I have <laughs> stemless for Brittany as well. She has one cup for me. Two. Actually, two. You're right. Two. Because she loves me so much. I do. And I appreciate it so much. But Brittany, since friendship is such a big part of this book... It is. It's such a huge factor. And let's talk about Benedict and Jake first. Yeah. So Benedict and Jake are... The cutest bromance. They are. And you can... Jake's... Jake does not, like, speak... I say speak as in the book, and that's fine. Um, Speak with a lot of emotional feelings towards people. Like, there's a student he's close to, and it's still... It's not an emotional... The way he speaks about him is not an emotional connection. It's like, I'm close to this person, yeah, whatever, kind of thing. 
Right. But with Benedict, it is like, it is this just relationship. It's this love for each other. Yeah, that fizz. <laughs> I also poured some more champagne. Um, but it like, it almost breaks my heart. I've been in a, I couldn't, I couldn't even call it a situation similar to his. But I talked about on the little, on the last podcast a little bit about how I had a friend who kept a really big secret from me for a really long time and I kind of had to accept that and I do and she is still one of my very 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 closest friends um but it was really hard for me to accept that this whole big part of her life had been a secret for so long from me um right out of all the people I, I feel yeah yeah and I'm her I'm her best friend for sure um, like we are, we've been friends for a very long time. She's my, she's my oldest, closest friend. Um, she's 78. <laughs> but I meant oldest as in longest. I know, she's I my know. longest, closest friend. Um, <laughs> but, um, so I kind of felt for Jake a lot in this whenever it's, it's discovered that Benedict has kept this ginormous, just, Huge. I mean, like as big as the ocean secret from him. I really can't describe how large of a secret this is. And I really think you need to read the book to understand. Yeah, I would but, say so. Um, and Jake finds out. And Jake is, immediately questions the whole friendship, which I feel because that's how that's what I did with this friend of mine. And I just, I felt for him so much. I like, I'm, I, like, feel like I'm going to tear up even talking about it. Like, I, I have nothing to relate that to. If there is a friend that is keeping <laughs> a ginormous <laughs> secret from me, I haven't quite found it yet. Um, Brittany, anything you want to tell me now? Well, uh, yeah, Allison, my name is actually... The first thing that came into my mind was Bob. I thought Lorletta. I don't know. Roletta? Lorletta. Lorletta. Okay, my name is really Lorletta, which obviously you already knew, bitch. I Um, didn't. That's why this is a secret. (laughs) But, no. But, um, for me, friendships are really based on trust. Mm Mm-hmm. And... When I say trust, it's not just, like, a trust to say what you think or to um, really just say what you think. For me, trust is, like, I have to be able to trust that you're going to be there. And not just, like, in the fun times or the bad times, but, like, when you say you are. Right. So, for me, I grew up um, with a pretty, like, flaky person in my life. Um, so as an adult, when you get to really choose who's in your life, um, that's something important to me where I'm just like, I, I don't put up with flakiness. I can't, um, because it hurts my heart too much. Yeah. And so for me, like being flaky, being unreliable, I feel like those are synonyms. Um, they are. We learned are, about synonyms this week in second grade. <laughs> um, there are me, words with like, similar to the same meaning. Oh, Synonym, similar, is that a uh, what's the what's the thing where you say two words that start with the same letter? Alliteration. Is that an alliteration? Similar synonym. Um, uh, it would be if you said Susie said similar synonyms. It has to be more three? than three. <sighs> three or more, I believe. Three. Okay. Um, well, that got you in trouble. So you need to remember to say. Susie. Three or three or more than three. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, it's more than three. I'm just it's kidding. three or more. I'm just kidding. You I'm, I'm saying? saying different things. <laughs> but yeah, Allison, what does friendship, what's friendship mean to you? I think I know because I'm a kick-ass friend, but. Oh, wow. It's just such a funny question. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me fake laugh from my real one yet, people? <laughs> Listeners. You guys are our friends now, too. I hope you know. So don't be fucking flaky. Also. I'll drop you like a like last season's outfit. I'm just kidding. I'm the least fashionable person you ever meet. Also, Brittany can't drop you. 
<laughs> Whether you're listening or not, we're making the podcast. I will find a way to block you. No, I'm just uh, kidding. Oh, no, she won't. Um, <laughs> Allison doesn't give me access to that. I'm just kidding. Okay, oh Allison, gosh. I'm sorry. What does friendship mean to you? You know, for <laughs> something that we discussed talking about, but didn't... Uh, ooh, I don't know. Um... Let me, while you think, I'm going to give them a little backstory about just what you just mentioned a little bit. So we immediately before, the, we don't discuss the book at all before. And then immediately before we start, we, we write like a list of like topics we might want to talk about. Not might, that we, we plan to talk about. But we don't discuss what we're going to say within the topics. So like our topics tonight were like repetition. We didn't talk about what we were going to talk about. That one's a little clearer, but like. We talked about obsession, unresolved situations, like that kind of stuff. But we don't say what within that we're going to talk about. So she didn't know I was going to ask her what friendship means to her. Yeah. That's why I'm throwing her for a freaking loop. It's fine. Um, Friendship is something that I can continuously count on. Um, Whether that be we see each other all the time where we see each other none of the time if I can count on you you're my friend so I'm back in therapy this week (laughs) my therapist asked me like are they a work friend or are they a life friend and it was just such a funny question because I feel like I can friend I love that yeah but I feel like I can count on the people that I work with right now as much, I mean, it's hard, as much as I can count on Brittany. But, like, yeah, I I count on Brittany for life things. I would call that a life friend then. Right, but, like, I count on you for life things. Like, Brittany, I'm having a lot of anxiety today, and I, Sarah's watching Nate, and Sarah's a great sister, and she's going to watch Nate and love him and take care of him but what if something happens and Brittany's like okay well I think you this that and other right examine this see how you feel and then we'll go from there but then (coughs) with work friends Brittany had some champagne and the bubbles went up her nose but I think with work friends it's more along the lines of for example I was here the other night and I was like Brittany I love you but I have to call Dawn because she will know what to say to me right now in this situation. And that's because Dawn knew what I was struggling with. So in all reality, friendship to me is just being there when I need you in what type of way, whatever type of way that might be. And I'm less you know, sensitive on the flakiness, but it doesn't mean that I don't think it's okay. But for me... It means you don't think it's okay. I'm sorry. I don't think it's okay. I know what you mean, but, but I just wanted to... I, I'm definitely less sensitive, especially mm-hmm. since having a kid, because I think a kid kind of makes me flaky. Yeah, which I see in a different light, just to reassure you. I appreciate that. But um, I, I would... I never like Nate's this is happening and I just can't. I'm like, okay, I get it. Totally. Or also Brittany's really okay with naps. (laughs) Oh shit. You could, you could cancel like coming to my wedding one day if I ever find a man by saying, listen, I'm just so tired. I got to take a nap. I'm like, girl, you take a fucking nap. Take a nap. (laughs) She wouldn't. (laughs) I'll see you another day. I, oh, I definitely would. I'll see you after the honeymoon. Yeah. Like I would just, I would be like, take a nap. Honestly though, you could, you, I mean, Brady really is understanding the naps, <laughs> but maybe one day you guys will understand why I'm so understanding teacher. with the naps. Yeah. But I'm just like, listen. But do especially what you need as to a do. school teacher, I need naps a lot. <laughs> but uh, wow, I don't even know what I said, but I hope that explains how I feel about friends. <laughs> I think it does. So let's quickly talk about a little bit about secrets. Mm. So for me, I kind of touched on that and friendships, where it was just kind of like, I think. Sometimes, as sucky as it is, secrets are a necessary evil. And I think that you have to be able to recognize when a secret is a necessary evil and when it's just... I hope everyone understands what I mean by that when I say Yeah, that. no, I think... Um, but I just think that 
sometimes we can't tell everyone everything. There are definitely things in my life where I'm just like, I don't want to talk about that with people. I I don't need to. I've resolved it with myself, and I don't I I don't want to talk about it with anyone else. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't affect anyone. It affects me, and I think that's kind of where Benedict and I think where that's where Benedict comes from with Jake. It's like I'm not keeping a secret from our friendship. You know me, right? But I can't share this part of me. And like my name. <laughs> yeah, I can't share my fucking name with you. Um, but. Man, my language tonight. It's fine. I'm not upset about it. It's just kind of funny. No, I think that um, it's just how it is sometimes. Yeah. I just had a really conservative week. I'm just letting it all out here. Um, it's a safe place. <laughs> but I just think that, yeah, sometimes I think they're not very evil. Yeah. Um, but I try to avoid them as much as possible because I have bad as secrets. Although I also, have not Brittany told really my hates lies. This. Oh my gosh, Brittany! I can so you have to really lie. watch yourself with Brittany. Like, watch I don't yourself, bitches. like. I don't lie to Brittany about the smallest of things. Like, if I am going to cancel on her, I'll tell her exactly what I'm canceling on her for. Like, for example, not like I'm too busy. She'll be like, <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, like I'm like I literally decided not to come. Because of this. And that's because a lie to Brittany. Like, if I was in her car and I told her I had my seatbelt on, but I really didn't. I'll kick you out of the fucking car. She would be really upset. Yeah. Like, so yeah. And it's not even just, like, for one, I'm a seatbelt Nazi. I think that everyone should wear their seatbelt all the time. Because not only are you endangering yourself, but you're endangering the other people in the car by your lifeless body banging around and potentially murdering them. Right. You inconsiderate assholes. Sorry, I know a lot of people don't feel like they need to wear their seatbelts in the car. And while I would like to say I'm not judging you, I kind of am. It's okay. I love you through it. That's just how she is. But. But I will say that, like, uh, I kept something from Brittany for a really long time. And I told her probably uh, five months ago, that, you know, something traumatic happened to me. And she... She told me that longer than five months ago, but it's okay. Continue. I apologize. I couldn't... I, I'm i really bad with time. That's okay. But I never told Brittany, like, this never happened to me. You know, like... So that's different. Right. It was so you that. have to be considerate awesome. with your secrets and your lies. But Benedict straight up lied to... Jake. I don't like to, I'm sorry. I interrupt. No. I mean, that was the end of my sentence. Benedict straight up lied to Jake. Yeah. I would like to think I would be more understanding of a lie like that. I'm not saying I would be, but I would like to think that I would be. <laughs> um, but there's a puzzle sitting in front of me, and I found a piece that fits, but I'm not touching it so that I don't distract myself. Um, I just, I think friendships are traits are based on honesty and for me it's really hard to reconcile and that's and that's part of me with lies lies aren't an out like to me I don't just consider an outright lie a lie I consider I consider like a dishonesty yeah so being dishonest to me so that means like to say if I say oh are you feeling sick and you're just like I'm not gonna make it and you don't say, oh, that's maybe that's a bad example. But just, I mean, I think you guys can, you guys are intelligent human beings. Because you're listening you guys are to freaking this podcast. Geniuses. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so, it's just, it's just, an, it's you not, know, the it's difference between keeping yeah. something like I totally blew off a party the other night and I should have told them. I was like, I'm too tired to come. And I was like, okay, girl, I understand. And that was that. But, yeah. But actually, I text her, hey, just let me know if you're not coming, but I'll submit her to fall asleep, which I don't fault her for. Again, because I'll never fault anyone for sleep. <laughs> okay. But so I feel like that gets, brings us to a good point of, Allison, write this book from one cork, like, I'm, I opened a bottle, I taste the wine, didn't really like it, to five corks, which is I drank the whole mother effing bottle in a night. 
in okay. a couple hours, maybe an so, hour. So I actually have thought about this a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm reading this book of three, which is probably lower than you thought with it how is. fast I finished the book. But I, it, I really like this author. I hated where we ended. I wanted more. I wanted more. Mm -hmm. I don't like Natalie's entrance. I don't like... there wasn't exit. Yeah, I don't think there was enough progression in that relationship. I needed more from that, and that's probably just the romantic in me. So I did. I give it a a 3 out of 5. I still think it's a great book, but 3 out of 5. Okay. I, I can respect that. I don't necessarily agree, but I can respect it. I give it a four out of five. Mm-hmm. I, I, the only thing stopping me from giving it a perfect store score is the repetition. Yeah. Sometimes that and it, it's just an overmuch. But I, I almost like a four and a half. I really loved this book. It was a good book. I loved. It, it. was a good book. I'm being a harsh critic. I yeah, really am. That's good. That's fine. You should you should rate it exactly what you think, Allison. Thank you. <laughs> um, but. I really, really loved this book, and I'm a fan. Um, so I'm giving it four out of five. Okay, so speaking of books, the next book, it's my turn. And so before we do that, Brittany, I <laughs> thought, before I reveal the next book. We I forgot. Th- the list. Oh. So we do a list book, but we forgot the list book, so we we're we're altering the plan a little bit. Right. So instead of doing a list out of our list book, we're doing a what the fuck or high five. Um out of Brittany's sticky pads. <laughs> I fucking love these things. What brand are they called? They're they're knock knock stuff.com. Go check them out. They have freaking amazing lists that you can they're just really great. I love them so much. So, my what the fuck this week is two lady behind me in the car from me, obviously. <laughs> what should I do? What the fuck should I do when I'm trying to turn but can't thanks to traffic? Then, finally turn and then throw you throw up your hands at me. I'm sorry, was I supposed to risk my life and turn? To please you, you psychotic bitch. No, I will not. So, calm the fuck down, you idiot. I like it. Thank I'm you. In, I'm into it. What's your what so, the fuck? Well, you did a what the fuck. I'm going to do a high five. Okay. Um, so, my high five is, this is ironic, to barefoot wine, which I generally hate. It's so shitty most of the time. Sorry, Barefoot. I'm normally not a fan. Right now, I'm a fan because tonight I bought, which is the second time I bought it, um, Barefoot Bubbly Pinot Grigio Champagne. Holy shit. It's a good wine. It's so good. I'm a dry wine drinker for the most part. So I like a little bit of sweet, but generally just dry. Um, just you see. What did you say? What? I don't know. <laughs> um, but holy shit. I said, Barefoot, you overcame your mediocrity because, let's be honest, your wine is normally just mediocre, um, and you freaking nailed it. Nailed it right on the head. So, you made some amazing champagne that I love. And it's cheap, so praise the It's actually, yeah, it's only like, I think it was like ten fifty, maybe. We live in Oklahoma. We have high alcohol tax. Um, So, way to go. Keep it up. I love you. I'm really sorry. I'm going to do a high five. But it's really because this person does needs it. I'm here for it. So high five to a parent from a teacher. You won. Oh, yeah. And you won at making me feel appreciated as a teacher and competent. So here's to you. Keep it up. Okay, Allison, tell me about the next book. It was your turn to pick. So tell me about the next book. This, okay. this next book is your pick. Thank you. Yes, it is my pick. So the next book is called The Silent Women, previously published as um, Call Me Princess by Sarah Bladell. So it's spelled S-A-R-A-B-L-A-E-D-E-L. And it is a murder mystery type deal. And it is really 
I'm really intrigued by it. And she is a foreign author. So I'm excited to see how that works out. Yeah. We'll post a link to the synopsis on our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Facebook. Um, Allison, why don't you go ahead and tell our fabulous listeners all of our handles and apps and all that shit. Okay. So um, we are on Twitter at, at Books Uncorked. We are on Instagram under the same name. We are on Gmail as at Books Uncorked 3. No, just Books Uncorked 3 at gmail.com. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Books okay. Uncorked 3 at gmail.com. Some freaking asshole picked Books Uncorked. Who are you? We don't know. What We're the hell upset. Is wrong with you? So that's where we are. <clears throat> Please follow us, like us, and rate us on all the things. We are on Podbean. If you found us, you know that. Um, we think you're great and here's to another week. We'll see you later, bitches.